So Dana White saying that Eddie Alvarez is Eddie Alvarez is still welcome in the UFC, but he'll absolutely understand if he leaves. So he's saying like he wants him to stay, but if he wants to leave, he can leave. And yeah. I, I saw um, MMA beat, and I guess uh, Luke Thomas and Danny Segura were talking about this. And then Luke was like, "This is kind of a nice thing to say." I think Danny said something like, "This is kind of a jab at Eddie okay. Alvarez," kind of saying like, "Because they're, if they're going to negotiate a contract, they're just kind of saying like, oh, we don't need you.'" Yeah, I mean, I I gotta agree with. You know, um, Luke Thomas. I don't. I don't think it's a jab. I think we look too much into things. I think, um, you know, it's Eddie, Eddie Alvarez. How many fights does he have left? I don't know, man. Yeah. He's had a great run. He's one of the all-time greats, the Hall of Famer. I love Eddie Alvarez. And if you're the UFC and you're in negotiations, you're not gonna say this. Is just business. This isn't Dana being a dick here. Um, you guys, I, I wouldn't stick up with for him if it. You know, I don't want to, but that just as being. Uh, even keel here, it, you know, if you're in negotiation with someone, you're not going to say, oh, we absolutely have to get a deal done. We want them bad. We need to get this done now. We have to have them. You're not going to say that. Think about when you're buying a car. You act like you're looking at three others, even though you want this car. That's what he's doing. And not to mention, the UFC would keep on keeping on if they don't sign with Eddie. It's not like he's some young up-and-comer they have to sign. Eddie's had a great long-run career. He do- probably doesn't have four fights left in him. There's nothing wrong with that. I think we were looking too into that. So he's just looking out basically for Eddie. Yeah, if you want to get paid more at the yeah. tail end of your career with the Bellator and that's, you know, you and Scott are close, cool, man, go get your money. Mm. They'll be fine without him. And Eddie will be fine without them. Yeah. It's all good around all boards. Cool. All right, so this is another thing that's been making the rounds. Um, so Khabib Namagamadov, I guess on his Instagram, it was either his story or live or something. He was videotaping his brother or teammate uh, paying homeless people to do push-ups. Did you see that video at all? I did see it. Yeah, so, I mean, some people say that it's, you know, the cultural thing is different. Like, who knows what happens where he's, when he's where he's from and they do that or something. Did he, did he do it in America? He did. It did. It looked like America. Did you say the America? It looked like America. <laughs> yeah, I'm almost positive this is America. <laughs> So, yeah, so anyways. So he's paying him. <laughs> he's having his brother. I think it's his brother. To do push-ups? To pay, like, having homeless people oh, it do says push-ups. Oh, Khabib's not doing it. He says Khabib laughs at homeless people. Yeah, to, but it's Khabib's Instagram. Like, he's videotaping it. So that's where the, controver- the controversy comes in. So? I don't have that. I mean, hmm. I mean they, they, they gave the homeless dude money. It's not like that's what we were saying or, too. like, being shitty to him. It's not like they're like, oh, look at your shitty push-ups. Maybe he was like, dude, I want you to be healthy. If you can get this money, <laughs> I, don't think it was like that, I want though. you to fucking get the blood flowing for me. You know? I don't know. I don't know. It's not the worst. Jesus Christ. People are so sensitive. People are bitches. People just <laughs> like to gossip. They want something to gossip about. Oh, look at Khabib, man. This is terrible. Look at Darren Till. This is terrible. Look at Connor. This is terrible. Shut the fuck up. Bunch of hens. Who cares? What else you got? Hens. All right. So two... Two girls about to fight now. Michelle Waterston, Karate Hottie is going to fight Felice Harrogate. A couple one two dime pieces. And that's the same card. I love Michelle Waterston. October 6th. And Felice Heron. She's a beast too. I love that fight. Yeah. What else you got? Well, I just saw that card too, right? So I saw that the main event right now is obviously could be even Connor. Yeah. But the, look at the co-main event. It's Ryan now, Flair they're, they're only putting co-main event because that's all they have right now. Trust oh, me, that okay, card okay. will fill up like a fucking Christmas tree. <laughs> That card will get filthy. That's not the co main. Okay. What else you got? Um, yeah. One more. Mark Coleman saying that he was sexually abused by the Ohio State doctor. Really? You about this? No, I haven't heard yeah. about that. Damn, Mark Coleman. What so do you do? there was like a hundred different cases, right, where the students were abused, sexually abused by that doctor. But he didn't go into details, but he said he's welcoming investigators to talk to him to figure out everything that happened. And the guy's, the guy died already. Oh, the guy's dead? Yeah, yeah. But Mark Coleman. I mean, that, that doctor, was he like passed out or something, like grabbing kids? Because that doctor has some nerve grabbing Mark Coleman as a fucking wrestler. Did he grab Kevin Randleman too? I don't know. Former UFC champion Mark Coleman says he's among the victims of a now dead Ohio State team doctor who's been accused of sexual misconduct by more than 100 former students. Does, and does, he doesn't say exactly no. what he did. Fuck, that's terrible. 
That's terrible. That's it. You know what the thing is with with Mark, like especially if you're a guy of Mark stature, former world champion, former great Hall of Famer. It's embarrassing. That's the thing. It's embarrassing. Like to come out and say he got molested by a fucking doctor. Hmm. Good for Mark Coleman though. Yeah. To, I mean, not good they got molested. But if it's, it's like someone like him can come out and say that, that's that says something huge. What kind of doctors, UFC doctors heavyweight champion. wrestlers and shit though. It's got to be some sort of trickery, right? Would, would they like fall asleep and the doctor's like sucking his dick? I don't know how this works. <laughs> I don't know. I've either. never been in that situation. Callum's been molested more than I have. I've never. Yeah. Didn't never you say had, he was? They were measuring his. Well, no, that was the episode of Friends or something where they were measuring the pant leg and they was touching. Mm, I'm sure that happened to Callan too. Right, He's so. been molested a ton. That's <laughs> so sad, dude. Yeah. Not me though. Never never. I just I don't know. You I know, mean, I was kind of fat as a kid. So and like curly hair, so I think they're like mm, they like past the better looking kids, I think. That's what I think happened. I mean you you can tell too, right? Like I remember being at a doctor's office when I was a little kid. I would have squealed. I'm like, What? <laughs> yeah. As Help. As soon as, as soon as something seems odd, you know, I just back away. I would have backed away, but I'm sure some kids back away, they still get them. But I would have fucking been yelling, uh. calling him a dick, a cock gazer. They'd be like, we can't, this kid, don't, don't go for that one. That one will not shut the fuck up. He's on sugar and candy all the time. He's also fat. He wears short shorts. He, I think he wants us to touch him. Don't fucking go for that kid. Do not touch that kid. Oh, God. Is that it, Jim? That's it. All right. Fan questions? Yes, sir. All right, you have some fan questions. Fan questions. Let's start here. At Christian BH. Not MMA related, but one of my favorite rappers, Conejo.rapper, at Conejo.rapper, said he was on set with you uh, for the movie The Tax Collector, a David Ayer's movie. Just wanted to know how is he on set, if you have any scenes with him. Uh, yes, I do have scenes with him. Uh, he was awesome. Conejo, the rapper who was, uh, I don't know how much I can share, but he was part of an illegal group and he was on the run for many years and he was releasing rap CDs underground and became like this huge underground kind of cult following. And now he's out and he's living the good life and he has a clothing line. He has his rap albums. He's on iTunes. Um, you know, he lived the real life, and I think that's what makes this tax collector movie pretty dope. Because when you see his character, it is so intense. Uh, Kaneo was a—he was a good guy to me. I don't know him outside the set, but he was awesome to me. At MC Joycey, rumor has it the gold medalist Jordan Burroughs, if you guys don't know who he is, uh, take your fist, ball it up, ram your eye into it. He's an Olympic uh, wrestler, a f- uh, straight freak, uh, has arrived in Dublin to help train McGregor. Do you think this will help him against Khabib or is Khabib's grappling just too good? Cheers, pal. Cheers to you, sir. Uh, from what I hear, Jordan Burroughs is not in Dublin. He's not going to help Connor. Also, Jordan Burroughs' style of wrestling doesn't really uh, match up with Khabib's style of wrestling. So, uh, obviously, that high of a level wrestling might help Connor in his uh, preparations for Khabib, but he's not there. And. Um, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but he's not there. Um, at Ray D Player One, uh, at Ray D Play Player One. Sorry, Ray D Player One. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Can we p- please start moving to get Max Holloway to change his nickname to Hawaiian Punch? It's hilarious, but that's a little racist. I feel like <laughs> really? Max Hawaiian Punch Holloway. That's pretty fucking sick, and I love the drink Hawaiian Punch. But um, the blessed one's pretty good as well. Uh, at Ray Baguette, two G's, two T's. Do you think Connor has been preparing for Khabib the whole time he's been off? How much do you expect his game to have improved? I do. I, I, I don't think he posts everything he's been doing. You know, I think he's been living his best life. I think he's been having fun. But I also think he's known for the past two years and some change that his next MMA fight would be against Khabib. And I think he's been training accordingly. I don't think you take this fight on just a whim and just agree to something like this because he realizes what's on the line is legacy that's on the line. So um, I'm excited for this one. At Mendeloya underscore F18. When are you going to get Mark Munoz on the show? Always oh, been a big fan of his. I got to get Mark on. Uh, Mark, you got hit guy hit Mark up on Twitter too. I should probably just text him. Uh, Mark, let's get you on the show, brother. Miss you, man. Love you. I'd love to have Mark on.
Octagon News.